Live from KTVN Reno, you're watching 2 News at 530. There's not enough residency uh, spots or uh, what they call residency slots uh, in local hospitals. A physician shortage continues to be a problem in Nevada. What the state is doing to address it in tonight's 2 News Big Story at 530. Well, many at home can relate to this. Finding the right doctor for you, it can be tough sometimes. Absolutely. I'm, I'm Ryan Kennedy. I'm Kristen Remington. And not only finding the doctor, but then you have to wait to get in, right? Yeah. Even the number of physicians has increased. It hasn't been as fast as our population mm -hmm. here in northern Nevada. Valentina Bonaparte spoke with the UNR School of Medicine about it. And Valentina, what specialty do they need most? Almost all of them. They say taking care of the problem is doable, but it's going to take a lot of time and funding. Nevada's uh, numbers have not kept up with population growth. It's a common problem across the West. We're surrounded by states, California, Utah, Arizona, that have serious physician workforce shortages and serious health workforce shortages, period. With a growing population, there are simply not enough doctors for those looking for care. I think the ones that concern me most are the ones, again, where we haven't kept pace with population growth, including family medicine, including psychiatry, uh, some areas of surgery. Here in Nevada, just to meet national average, we need 24 to 2,500 more doctors. If uh, folks in Reno are having a difficult time finding a pediatrician or getting a dermatology appointment or just seeing their family medicine doc, uh, those problems are compounded in rural areas. Research from School of Medicine shows that 55% of those graduating residency and fellowships in Nevada tend to stay. The problem is that there are not enough residency spots available for them here. There are just not enough family medicine spots or psychiatry spots uh, for our grads, and so those individuals leave the state. Growing residency and fellowship programs, as well as increased funding, can help keep those doctors here. Uh, most of those positions are funded by Medicare, and we haven't seen an expansion in what Medicare is willing to support. So we're getting state support for what the federal government is not willing to support. But meanwhile, local providers are doing what they can to fill the gap. We're also seeing local hospitals uh, step up and support those uh, on their own, uh, in part. There are also incentives for those who are willing to move to Nevada for medicine. We have more information on KTVN.com. Covering the story, Valentina Bonaparte, 2 News.